Hey everyone and welcome back. If you are new here then hello, my name is Zoe and this is my YouTube channel. Today's video is not a makeup tutorial, it's actually a hair video which I never do. I'm going to be sharing my hair care routine for 2020. To be honest, it's really minimal, there's hardly anything to it, I hardly use any products and I'm not really that good at hair. The chore of washing my hair, I like to be as easy as possible and as quick as possible because it does take me ages. I mean, when people say I can't do that tonight because I'm staying in and washing my hair, that is me. It literally takes the whole evening for me to wash, dry and straighten. So yeah, I'm just going to talk you through everything that I use to keep my hair nice and shiny and hydrated and if I've missed anything out and you have any questions at all about my hair, please just ask me in the comments and I will let you know. So if you do like it, please let me know down in the comments and also give it a thumbs up as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You only have to click that button and you are already here. So I really hope you like today's video. Let's just get on with it. Okay guys, so this is my hair just washed. I have quickly just done my makeup for IGTV. I'll link it when it's up in the description box. So I think the front bit is drying. My hair is long and it's very thick and it's also like quite dry and coarse. But I haven't brushed it or anything. As you can see, my hair is naturally quite curly and if I left it with nothing in, it would go like really frizzy. But sometimes I do just put a little bit of mousse in and let it dry naturally. And I do actually quite like it, but I find I do have to wash it more if I do that because I don't like the feel of like product in my hair or anything. So I haven't brushed it or anything. I'm gonna just talk you through first the shampoos and conditioners that I use and then we'll brush it and dry it. I do also colour my hair. I am a natural redhead, so this is pretty much my natural colour, it's just maybe a little bit red and a bit more richer in colour than my natural. If you look back at my old videos, I will have like blonde in the ends because I used to have a balayage, but all of my root colour, that is all natural on those videos. And then if you go way back, that is all my complete natural hair. I do also solve it with eczema and psoriasis on my body and psoriasis especially on my face and I also get psoriasis on my scalp as well so I have always suffered with that but my scalp especially since I was 16 I have really struggled with it sometimes I can just last ages without getting it at all but then when I do have it and it does come it takes ages to get rid of and I have to be so careful with what I put on it. The last few months now I have really got it under control and I haven't really got any at the moment but my scalp can get quite dry so I'm just going to talk you through everything that I use on my hair which honestly isn't a lot. I feel like my hair care routine is like the lowest maintenance and like the least products ever but I just don't like using a lot because I am quite sensitive so I just stick to what works for me. So for my shampoo and conditioner and hair masks I'm only using two brands at the moment only because this is what they use in the salon that I go to and also work at and I just find they work for me really well. I've also had the same hairdresser for over 10 years and she is the best and I wouldn't go to anybody else. I am quite biased now because I work there. She's cut my hair and looked after my hair for over 10 years now. So I would never go anywhere else and I'm really happy with my hair at the moment. So these are the shampoos and conditioners and treatments that I'm using. So the first brand is Label M, which I absolutely love. I use the Honey and Oat um, conditioner and shampoo. I think I've talked about this in like favourites videos and things way back, but I've used this for years. Um, I haven't got the shampoo with me because I've run out, but these are just a really nice everyday shampoo and conditioner. Absolutely love them. This is pretty much empty. I think I've only got like that much left in the bottom, but yeah, I'll use the honey and oat shampoo and condition it until they went out and then I'll move on to another one until they went out and then I'll switch back to this. So I altern al alternate alternate is that the word? Alternate between um the two different shampoos and conditioners just so I'm not using the same ones all the time. But yeah label M absolutely love. The only other brand which I use at the moment for shampoo and conditioner is Joico and I absolutely love this brand. I feel like they do have a lot of shampoos for like my type of hair, like quite dry and thick hair. So this is the Moisture Recovery Shampoo for dry hair and this is the Moisture Recovery Conditioner for dry hair and I've used these today. Actually no, that's a lie. I've only used the shampoo today because I've used the treatment. I really love Joico especially for their treatments as well and 
They might be just a little bit more expensive than high street shampoos, but they are definitely 100% better than high street shampoos. And because I only wash my hair like once a week or every five days, these last me like forever because you hardly need anything as well, like the size of a 50 pence piece, that's all I use. So I do two shampoos and conditioner. But like today I've used a treatment, so I've just got a few treatments which I use at the moment. So I will show you those. I usually go for treatments for like quite dry and damaged hair because my hair is so dry. I think all everything on me is dry. My skin is dry, my hair is dry, my nails can get really dry, especially this time of year as well in the winter. I just feel like it really dries my hair out. And I think like curly hair can be a little bit more dry as well. So I always go for treatments which are like more hydrating and things like that. So the first one is from Label M. This is the Label M the Intensive Mask and it smells so nice. It's actually nearly run out now so I need to get another one. But this makes your hair so nice and soft. It says on the back to apply to hair and massage from roots to ends. But I only ever put masks from like my mid lengths and down because I don't like anything too heavy on my scalp just in case and I'll concentrate a lot on my front bits as well because I feel like they get quite a lot of heat and I'm always straightening the front bits. So the first one is this one absolutely love. The second one is from Joyco as well. This is the K-Pak Intense Hydrator Treatment for Dry and Damaged Hair. I don't use this one as often as the other two because I find this one can build up a little bit. It can be a little bit heavy for your hair. So again, I'll just use this mainly in the middle lengths, definitely the ends for this one because it is very hydrating. I'll usually do a hair mask, say, every other or every third time I wash it because the shampoos and conditioners which I use, I absolutely love and they do keep my hair like quite hydrated anyway. So I'll probably do a mask every... I probably say every third time that I wash it because I either do every five days or once a week so that seems to work out really well for me so I really like that one as well and then the one that I've used today is this one which matches the shampoo and conditioner which I'm using it's the moisture recovery treatment balm for thick and coarse dry hair so again, mid lengths and ends, leave it on for a few minutes and then wash it off. You get a lot of product in these as well. So this one is 250 mils and this one again is 250. So what do you get with your shampoo? So my shampoos and conditioners are 300 mils. So, so to be fair, these are not far off like a full conditioner. So this is gonna last me like literally forever because again, I don't have to use them that often. Okay, so after you have washed your hair, I always comb it through. Never, ever, 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 ever brush your hair when it's wet. My hairdresser has been telling me this for years and I never, ever brush my hair with a brush. Even a tangle teaser, I always comb it through first. Tangle teaser, brush, wet brush, anything like that, when you first like take the towel off your hair to brush your hair through. It's gonna completely tear your cuticle. Always brush it through with a comb first. I always blow dry my hair with a brush, but I always brush it through first with a comb. So I'm gonna just brush it all back. And the more you do it, you'll find that your comb just goes straight through your hair. So this is me just brushing my hair straight after I have washed it. So yeah, if you take anything from this video, always brush your hair with a comb when it's wet. Never brush it with any kind of brush. Years ago when I used to brush it just with a brush, it would just completely like clump together and I could barely even get a brush through it. And the more I brushed it with a brush, the worse it got. So now I can literally just brush it straight through and it's all nice and soft and detangled. Before I start to blow dry my hair, I'll always spray it first with this, which is the Label M Protein Spray. This is absolutely amazing. It protects my hair so well. So it's UV protection, evens out porosity for all hair types. It really keeps my hair nice and healthy and it's a lot less dry using this than if I wasn't using it. So I always do just the mid lengths and ends because I hate anything touching my scalp. So we'll just spray this all through the mid lengths and ends, a lot through the front because 
it's very dry and it is more damaged there. If I've just got straight out the shower, I'll blast off all the sopping wet first and then put this through or else when you dry your hair, this will just come out with it. So it's pretty pointless using it. So again, I'll just brush all that through. I feel like you do need like a specific night in just to wash your hair because mine takes me so long and I feel like the drying and the straightening or curling after takes longer than actually washing it. It's literally such a chore. That's why I hate doing it more than like once a week. Let me know down in the comments how often you wash yours and if you also hate washing your hair like I do. <laughs> Have no idea if I do the right thing. I wish that I could give myself a proper blow dry. That would be like really helpful. I'm not gonna be able to talk through this. I'm literally just gonna whiz through it. But all I do is just like brush it down to try and get it to dry as straight as possible because my hair is so curly naturally. And yeah, that is just all I do. I'll show you a little bit, but obviously my hair dryer is gonna be so loud and not even gonna be able to hear me speak. So yeah, I'll literally just from the root and down just to try and make it dry as straight as I can. Really sorry if there's any hairdressers like literally cringing at this video. This is just how I do it. Also get so hot drying my hair. I feel like I end up needing another shower after. Okay, so finally for my top layer, I do like a middle parting, so I can do it in the viewfinder. It does usually just go straight into a middle parting. So it does go quite frizzy at the ends, but my hair is just frizzy anyway. But yeah, I can't blow dry it any straighter than that. But if you have any tips, please let me know. So I'll just straight it now. I do exactly the same sections. So I'll do like four sections for my hair. And I think everybody knows how to straighten their own hair. But I've just got a pair of GHDs. These are quite old, but I feel like GHDs last like forever. So I just kind of go over twice and then when I get to the bottom I just kind of curl it under and I feel like if I take my time in straightening it now tomorrow I probably won't even have to touch it so again just curl it under or well, I mean you guys probably do this like every day as well so I'll try not to be too long-winded do you prefer mine straight? I feel like I can cope with it a bit better that way. Sometimes I will leave it curly. Maybe I'll do a video of how I leave it to dry naturally curly and then you can see the difference between the two. And I don't actually use a heat protector spray. I know that I should but I've got a few in my drawer but I don't like any of them so if you've got any advice or no any heat protector sprays then please let me know i just don't like anything like where i can feel it in my hair if you get what i mean so the ones that i've got either make my hair quite luggy the day after or i can feel it in my hair and i hate that i need something that can be protecting my hair but i don't want to feel that it's there <laughs> this actually looks okay because I'm only using my viewfinder I literally can't see what I'm doing finally on at the top section for the front layer or top layer again I still sort of curl it under so once I've done this now tomorrow I'll try like not to touch it so I'm not sort of straightening it every day and then I'll probably straighten it again like the day after because it is quite thick and long it does last quite a long time like even when it's curled it does hold its curls quite nice so I do like the fact that my hair is quite low maintenance because I don't think I could deal 
with like having to wash it like every day or every other day. Okay guys, so I think that is it. It still looks a little bit fluffy at the moment. It always does when it's first done. So that's why I only ever do it at night and I do prefer like second day and third day hair because I feel like it does look less fluffy um, on the second and third day. But yeah, that is my really minimalistic hair care routine for 2020. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like this kind of video down in the comments and give it a big thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to subscribe as well and I will see you in my next one. Bye!